Hey guys, I uh, know it's been a while since I've had a video up, so I wanted to give a, a status update, kind of show what I'm doing here, uh, you know, in the next week or two, and uh, just kind of, you know, go through uh, where we're at and where I was and where I'm headed. So, uh, quick update is um, I've had a lot of people asking, you know, kind of how is the truck running and stuff now that I got all the IPR stuff on there. Um, as far as temperatures go, uh, I got it. So my current setup is um, the remote oil cooler and no filter. There's the filter piece right here. Um, if I run that, it runs my temperatures up super, super high. Um, could never figure out why. Uh, Vince has been kind of looking at it and uh, on his end too. He's seen a couple issues with that or related to that, and uh, but no resolution yet. So. The thing is, I just pulled it out, and I got my temperatures down uh, significantly. So, my commute um, every day is an hour to an hour, well, an hour and 15 to an hour and 45 uh, one way. So, I got uh, the chance to put a lot of miles on it, and or, you know, definitely get the truck up to temperature and run it, you know, a long way. And it's all the way down, it's lots of highway and, you know, 75 miles an hour. So, it's, you know, I can wrap it up pretty good. And get some good testing in and I averaged uh, on about a 45 degree Fahrenheit day you know for the temperature outside I was getting about uh, 12 10 to 12 degree delta so my old temperature was about 10 to 12 degrees hotter you know it was running anywhere from uh, 200 to 215 and the oil or the coolant temperature you know was 190 to spike up to 194 195 something like that every now and then so um, which isn't bad, but that's on a 45 degree day, you know, no load, cruising down the highway so that uh, I don't know if it would stay the same or not in the summer um, and or if I was pulling a heavy load. I don't pull a whole lot. The heaviest thing I pull is my little hot rod truck that's over here and it's not that heavy. It's, you know, I'd say with trailer and all, maybe four or five thousand pounds at the most. So it's currently in the works though, getting some body work done. But, so, I was still a little iffy on the uh, situation there. Uh, as you know, I've had a lot of issues installing this stuff. Um, here's kind of my pile of parts. Actually, yeah, that's part of it. So that's the, the top cap, my original one, uh, that broke uh, whenever um, I got the new replacement little bypass manifold that they, they make. And uh, the stud was too long and it pushed up and cracked it actually just right in there right where the tip of my finger is right where the that's the turbo inlet that little circle right here and there's just a big crack there so it just gushed oil as soon as I cranked it up so um, and I've got let's see this is one I just bought and there's a second one that I uh, received uh, from Vince but it was cracked as well I believe this was the second one yeah, it's a little dirty uh, yeah, but you can see, yeah, see that little shiny spot right there in the middle? There, where was it? There you go. So that's where the threads hit it and ultimately cracked it right there along that seam. You can see that black line that's not supposed to be there. So this is what it's supposed to look like. This is one that, you know, was not on a, a truck that had the, a problem like that or anything. But you can see, it looks just like my OEM one. Uh, nice and clean smooth no cracks so Vince did send me another one or he sent me that one that one was busted sent me another one I saw the cr the line at that edge thought it may have been okay so I installed it um, and I had a teensy weensy little oil leak when I first cranked it up you know and was running it in town and stuff and um, then I got up, you know, like I said, I was going down the road to work, you know, a couple times. And I think I ended up going back and forth maybe, I don't know, five or six times. So, and it's like 70 miles one way. So, you know, I, I put quite a few miles on it and it just progressively, the oily got worse and worse and worse. And so finally the other day when it got warm or for a, a couple days, I got out there and looked and I, it's just, it's with the truck not even running. Um, it's gushing oil let's see yeah out of this corner somewhere I can't tell if it's coming from like underneath here towards the uh, in the valley of the uh, the block 
or if it's up here and it's kind of running down or where it's coming from but it, it is there's a stream you know so if the head was like right here there's a stream of oil just and my driveway is just covered so uh, what I'm gonna do this so the whole reason for me making this video was to give you a quick update so that's where I'm at uh, you know 12 degrees on the highway manageable but again I'm not sure about what that would do under load or in the summer in 100 something some odd degree heat all right so that brings me to today so I had the leak um, this is the last time I'm gonna go into this thing I'm not gonna put this uh, stuff back in I'm gonna go back stock and so I bought um, think and I don't know what's broke if it's part of this you know because there will be a lot of stress let's see where is the let's see if we can look at this right okay so here's where the studs come through right right there where that hole is right there that's where the stud came through that was tall so when I clamped this thing down here and here and you know all around it was pushing that way and this way you know upwards that's what cracked this but it may have also cracked something under here I don't know um, so that's why I bought this stuff uh, and I bought it used off eBay uh, he advertised it as an oil cooler and it, I saw the picture and it had all the stuff on there and I was like score uh, you know I got it for under 200 bucks shipped and that's a good deal for me huh. but I'm gonna show you <laughs> real quick how to check I, and I knew this thing was bad as soon as I busted the box open you could see the the orange rust right there but you won't believe this is this is unbelievable here check this out so I was just working on it you know I knew it was probably a little clogged I was thinking maybe I could clean it up with a you know air hose or something like that um, is it this side what side is it oh it's gonna go and make a liar out of me well I I put my screwdriver down in there and just look at the crap coming out and that's nothing I'll actually show you here in a second um, <laughs> what I pulled out so to pop this thing out I always put my long socket extension down in there and just real easy you know force it down onto the concrete well when I put it down in there it felt mushy that's when I stuck my screwdriver down in there and found all the good look at this holy crap look at that that is unbelievable that came out of the oil cooler <laughs> so I'm gonna go back and check the eBay listing and see if this guy advertised this thing is working and if he did then this is definitely not working and this will definitely blow your motor up because there will be absolutely no coolant flow through this so and if you're not watching your temperatures you can easily you know start hurting things so that's unbelievable though look at that <laughs> that's I'm almost glad I bought this thing just to get this experience I've never seen that before <laughs> so uh, anyway so that's one thing you want to check make sure that those passages are clean because what I did was I actually ran water into that little inlet right there just holding it over the sink and nothing came out the other end and so I let the water sit there and it didn't drain it never went down so I knew this thing was clogged bad I just had no idea that it was that bad I mean this is ridiculous look at this look at that that's a lot of crap I mean it looks like dirt but I'm just guessing you know this probably came from a salvage yard or something and it was just sitting you know out in the field or whatever I don't know I don't know the story behind it but anyways so that's where I'm at today so I've got new parts here um, I haven't checked I've checked this top piece and it looks good I don't see any cracks in it so far I haven't checked the bottom piece I was letting it soak in some degreaser before I wipe it all down and then really inspect the stuff because this is the last time I'm gonna freaking pull this crap apart uh, you know this makes like number eight or something in it uh, for this project or seven or eight so I just I just can't do it anymore so um, I can't drive it you know it's not safe I can't take the kids out or the family out and you know have any confidence that I'll make it home or to my destination so I'm gonna put it all back stock uh, I am gonna keep the EGR delete that they've got that gen 2 thing that I've featured before uh, it's freaking got to be the best one on the market that I've seen and oh actually it's right here uh, oh darn yeah there it is yeah look at this this is pretty cool so if you haven't seen these yet these are the generation 2 EGR deletes that IPR has these are pretty freaking sweet nobody's made one like this before you know they always do the tube and 
the U-turn thing, but this is really all you need. Just got to get the coolant from here to there, or I guess vice versa. It goes it goes in here from the oil cooler up to the manifold, but typically it goes you know out the side and into your EGR cooler. So I like that. I'm gonna keep that in the up pipe um, and give Vince a call and. I wanted to pull my, all my old stuff out to see if I could find the actual crack because there's there's something wrong in in one of these pieces. It's either that one that he sent me, the new top piece, or the cover. I, I, and I don't know the names for each of these, but I mean, you guys probably recognize them. So it's coming out. It's just there's a stream, you know, going all the way down the back of the block, and it leaks. Looks like a rear main seal, like bad, bad, bad. Drips down the starter and everything all the way down there. So. I didn't think it'd be too hard to find. All I did was degrease the whole thing from the top and then started it up and let it run for about 30 seconds and I was able to see the stream and then wiped it all down and then came out the next morning and it was still just gushing out of there. So it's not even a pressure deal. So which makes me think that maybe this somewhere in here got cracked, you know, maybe on this side and it's kind of running down and just following this because I can't really see this edge right here. It's kind of hard to see, but I could definitely see it coming out the back. So, so that's where we're at. Uh, if you ever buy anything used, I mean, it's not a good idea to buy one of these uh, oil coolers used anyways, but, you know, I mainly wanted it for these parts. I'm going to see what kind of money I can get back out of the guy. And, uh, you know, maybe he'll sell me this stuff for 100 bucks, which is a steal. And, uh, you know, we'll go from there. So uh, that's where we're at. Uh, I'll, you know, give another update once I get all my parts and goodies in and... Uh, if you have any questions or want me to film anything in specific just let me know uh, on the deconstruction or the you know re uh, installation of this stuff so um, one trick I did find of going through all this and I can't remember if I've mentioned this or not is uh, from the factory when I first got into this thing it was no problem to get the turbo back in and you know get everything all cinched back up it, everything just lined up good but when I put the uh, up pipe delete from IPR uh, it doesn't have the little bellows in it so it's not flexible on that one side and maybe that's what it is but it's not a big deal you just I have to loosen the bolts from the up pipes to the manifold to get the turbo in then you mount the turbo or you set the turbo down bolt it to the Y pipe or up pipe whatever and then you go and bolt the turbo down and then you go down underneath and rebolt back up the manifold bolts to the uh, up or Y pipe so Anyways, that's just a little trick that I found, and because before I loosened those up, I was just cussing and about to sell the truck for five hundred bucks to the first taker. I mean, it was I was just getting so pissed off, but you know, got it figured out. So, anyways, uh, like I said, if you want me to film anything in specific, um, otherwise I'll probably just do some quick status updates. Some of my videos in the past have been kind of long, so uh, we'll try to keep these things short. So, anyways, uh, I guess we'll let you guys know. We'll see you in a. Couple days, hopefully we'll have some good news. Alright, later.